Quarterfinal number two, ladies and gentlemen, features Baram Rajabzadeh versus Tariq Osaro. 10 sene önce Glory başlandı. Ben de e, çocukken spor hayali vardı bende. Yani ve çocukken de hep söylerdim bir gün dünya beni tanıyacak. Spor anlamda, dövüş anlamda, savaş anlamda. Ve bu da araştırdım dünyanın en güzel spor organizasyonu Glory'de. Ve oraya tamas aldım. Dedim ki ben bir gün orada dövüşeceğim. Glory'in sayfasında eskiden çok yazmıştım. Başka bir Instagram hesabım vardı. O hesabımdan yazmıştım. Beni dövüştürün diye. Ama tabii dönüş olmamıştı. Elim kolum uzun olmadığı için, menajerim olmadığı için, tanıdığım olmadığı için iletişim kuramadım. Sonra Türkiye'den biri e, yardımcı olurum dedi. Geldim Türkiye'ye. Tabii ki de olmadı. Ve ben de orada bir süre eziyetler çektim. Bayağı eziyetler çektim. Ama pes etmedim. Devam ettim. Ve bir gün bütün dünya beni tanıyacak umudiyle devam ettim. Pes etmedim. Ve şu anda buradayım. Hayalimi gerçekleştirmek istiyorum. Kadar. Ne bileyim geleceğim için, ailem için çocuk sahibi olurum. Tabii ki de bağış yapmayı çok severim. Baş yapacağım kesin, yapacağım kesin. Kanser hastalarına, yetim çocuklara, anasız babası olan çocuklara, yaşlılara bunları yardım edeceğim zaten. Bu benim e, içimden geliyor. Tek bu maçın kazancından değil, bütün maçtan kazancından yoksul ailelere yardımcı oluyor. Heh. Onun dışında gelecek parayla tabii ki de kendime ait bir biznes kurup, biznesimi büyüdüp, daha güzel para kazanıp, ve daha güzel sporuma devam edip ve bayrağımı kaldırmak. Ama bu parayı kemeri almamın benim sporla vedalaşacağım anlama gelmiyor. Kemeri alacağım, sonra benden alsınlar. Alabiliyorsalar. The one who comes to throw bombs, that's me. <gülüyor> When I grew up, I watched the, the K1 fights on YouTube. At that time, I didn't realize those fights were separate fights of an eight-man tournament until I started doing kickboxing myself. And I then realized, oh shit, those guys were fighting three times a night. That's crazy. For me, coming into kickboxing and, and getting, getting so far Being one of the eight guys fighting on the night of March is, is it's a, it's a big thing in my career so far. I think Jafar's out, to be honest, and he advances to the tournament final. Get the job done as quick as possible and come out with not so much injuries. Rajab Zade will be different this time. Everybody who's in the tournament fought for it, got their place. So everybody's dangerous. Everybody has something that can finish a fight. Look at this one. Oh, my God. I don't know who gets to the finals. You know, we're heavyweights. One punch can be enough. So maybe there'll be surprises. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, a 2017 Waco World Champion who brings a near-perfect record to the Netherlands. 65 wins, just one career loss, and 58 career knockouts. At six feet one and one half inches, 1.87 meters, he weighed in at fight time at an even 219 pounds, 99.3 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Baku, Azerbaijan, it's Param, the Golden Wolf, Rajab His opponent fighting out of the wide corner, a Dutch Muay Thai champion and glory heavyweight tournament champion. His professional record, 25 wins, two losses, one draw, and 13 career knockouts. Standing six feet, six inches tall, 1.98 meters. He weighed in at 275 pounds, 124.7 kilos. He fights for Nigeria. Ladies and gentlemen, Tariq. Cookie Osaro! And the referee in charge of this bout is Yusuf Aknik. White corner.
Okay, fighters, you know the rules. Want to clear in a fair fight. Obey my commands for all time and protect yourself for all time, okay? Okay, those gloves, right. take a step back. Time. Big guy versus little guy. Fighters. It seems Fight. like Osara has almost every conceivable advantage in this matchup except for one, speed. And that may be the difference. Yeah, big, even a little jab from Cookie's gonna hurt. Big, strong, powerful. The, jab, the jabs are answer to Bahram because every time he opens, he opens first with the left hook or a left body shot like push. Ooh. Look at that quickness. Especially with those low kicks to mix the hands. As a one shot. Razum Jadi combos. Razum Jadi is coming off foot surgery. Says he's 100%. No worries. Yeah, seeing him in his qualifying fights for this crazy. He had a huge gash on the bottom of his foot. Fought two fights with it. Was squirting out everywhere. It was wild. You can also see Rabjazade much more covered this fight than before. Ooh, nice left. Cookie didn't like that. That's the shot that Rabjazade always opened. Ooh. Left hook. <laughs> Rabjazade like, I gotta wake myself Ooh. up a little bit. He tried the high kick. What an explosive high kick for Bahram. It's crazy how explosive he is. Ooh, even those counters are fast, Antonio. And Barum says, I don't even have a trainer. I train myself, which is unheard of, really, especially at this elite level. Ooh. I think a key for Cookie is going to maybe put some combinations together. Whoa. Yes. Ooh. Keep the combinations and keep some pressure on him. He also has some big, powerful kicks that he could use as well. Cookie from the outside. There you go. Yes, but maybe his plan is not to get in. Oh, good right from Tariq Asaro, forcing Rajab Jada to cover up a little bit. That left hook from Rajab Jada is like sake left hook. It's wild, but it's crazy quick. And it's almost like if you counter it, you open up a bit, and if he hits you first with it. Oh, nearly caught him with the uppercut, did Rajab Jada. Nice. Yeah, back and forth there. It seems like if Tariq can just land that one, two over and over, Cookie he'll do need, just fine. Cookie need to powerhouse him. To what? Powerhouse him, just slam him with his body. Keep, uh, use the weight of his body against him. Even that jab, you can see, pushes Rajiv Zadeh back. Keep popping that hard jab, it's making it difficult. Oh. They're both opening up. Normally you'd think Asaro would have the edge there, but. Razum shot is so fast, he can beat him to the punch. My heart literally stops when they open up. Yes, and Cookie is usually a little bit more of a counter puncher, not so much a pressure fighter. That's why we now see Rabjazade on the stop, front foot. Stop, 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 stop. Tough round to yeah, score. Very tough one to score. You can see the tension here. Very fun fight to watch. Yeah, well, this fight's fantastic. Let's look at the keys to glory for Osaro. He needs to keep that range control and control the pace. He can't let Rajab Zaydi power off with that speed combination. He needs to put that power punches in combo, and he needs to mix his angles and levels. But right now, like Antonio keeps saying, he needs a strong jab and strong straight punches. For Rajab Zadeh, it's getting inside with that inside pressure. I do like that power and speed he's known for. And I like when his combinations have some mixed weapons, chopping the leg, going back upstairs. But very tough round, and you can see how exhausted it is throwing these big power shots. But look at that head kick from Rajab Zadeh. Just fast, explosive, powerful, throwing everything he has behind every shot. But Osaro's good with his counters. He's coming back, following up those mixed loose punches of Rajab Zadeh. Razab Jadi swings from those big wide angles, Antonio. If Asaro could just throw the straight punches, it seems like he's going to do well. Yeah, can meet him in the middle. And also the thing with Rabjazade high kick, it's not the power of the high kick, but he hits you behind the head with his foot. Similar to Mladen Bestovac, he was the master of that. I said it was a close round. One judge scored it 10-10, the other four giving it to the fighter from Azerbaijan.
Yes, he, he did throw more punches and be more active because in the end, the aggressiveness is the only thing that scores. And Cookie did not manage to, to counter that goal. Cookie needs to put a little bit of gas on the pedal. Yeah, put some things together. Start throwing more, don't wait so much to counter. Yeah, start things off with the jab. Make him work, you can see the Rajab Zadeh getting comfortable now, doing weird things. If I'm Rajab Zadeh, I'm throwing a lot of feints too, Antonio, trying to see, you know, use feints to get inside. Oh, that left hook slipped inside yeah. and it buckled Osaro for a second. It looked like his eyes rolled no for a quick second there. Yeah, that was a clean left hook, but it's just crazy how Rabbi Jazade throw. It looks like like he just closed his eyes and go ba ba ba, and whatever lands lands. Asaro's got a very good chin. Plazabat to my right couldn't put him down. Rico couldn't put him down. Yeah, but if you get too many shots like this, it counts up. It's one plus Ooh. one equal two. Good combination Ooh. for Razab Jada. Working his way in there with that big right hand. Cookie needs to close his guard a little bit more up because punches are going through. Rajab Zadeh using those low kicks. He's got to keep chopping away. Chop the tree to set up his hands. Such a key round here for Razab Jada. If the judges give him the second, he can almost play defense in the third. But I'm not yeah. sure that's in his brain at all. Yes, and then Cookie needs to start pushing more. But every time he comes inside, he hits him with that left hook. Fight! It looks like Cookie has no answer for his speed right now. Ooh! Rajab Sade just waited to counter. It's crazy how I'm flinching and biting and on everything. Antonio's used to this kind of fight. Big boys hitting each other. Oh, nice right from Razak Jani, and then a front kick, and then a knee to the hey, chin, and Osaro had step to step hold on. Every time they open up, I, my heart stops and I stop breathing. Tariq needs to start working more because this way he's losing this fight badly. Make sure you watch Glory events 24-7 on Glory's new Fast Channels. Go to glorykickboxing.com for more information. You can see the big, wild, looping mm. punches. That's that left hook that rocked Osaro. You can see him kind of whoom, wake up a little bit. His eyes rolled back, but quickly came back to consciousness. But I would think a better round for Rajab Zadeh here is landing a little bit better. Yeah, this is definitely a round for Rajab oh. Zadeh. It's all him. Keep in mind, he's not even six foot two. Cookie Asaro is six foot six, and he got that foot <laughs> right up into his face. I think he's about 219 pounds as well. He can kick higher than the Rockettes. You don't know who the Rockettes are, do you, Antonio? I, I don't know. I don't. <laughs> They're on American. Broadway in America. It's women that can kick very high up in the air. Time. I'm sure my producer, Bill Borson, knows who the Rockettes are at least. So here we go. Round three. Cookie needs a big round here. Needs to start working. Go in, throw punches. Doesn't matter what happens because this way you will lose this fight. Cookie at least needs a knockdown, but Rajab Jada might get one. You can see the sweat just going from them. Cookie needs to bring this fight to Rajab Zade because he will just wait. Look at the strikes landed. Will they call that a slip or a knockdown? Cookie slow to get up. It's two more minutes for Cookie. He needs to start working. Bring the fight to him. Make him throw the wild shouts and counter him. I bet Levy's enjoying watching this, all the yeah. effort they're exerting. This is the best possible solution for Levy no because action, no action, no action. they are back. just killing each other. They need to be some injuries after this, and Levy is more fresh than them. Yeah, you can see Rajab Zadeh clinching up a little Blake, bit more. Smart back. move for him. Lose, lose, lose. Why lose. open up right now? 
break, don't hold. Again, you saw the open Fine. scoring. Rajab Jada ahead two rounds to none. So Osaro has to get at least a knockdown. Yeah, to, to push it to the extra rounds. He needs to start working. Half more round, round left. Halfway through the third. Especially knowing Rajab Zadeh is maybe not putting his foot on the gas pedal. This is a time for Osaro to go. Break! Lose, 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 lose. Tariq back, cannot back. just catch him with the punches. Every time he comes close, he ducks down and hugs him and doesn't give him a chance to counter. Yeah, boom, right there trying to clinch up. Joe, this almost reminds me of the old open weight Grand Prix tournaments back in the day where a tiny guy would fight a giant. Seriously, it's a, it's a very intriguing matchup. I was so excited for this matchup. Just imagine next fight will be will look like if Bahram wins. Levy two meters yeah. and Bahram so much smaller Break. than Break! Let loose, let loose. Yes, back. So Rajab Jada in no rush to exchange with Osaro. Why would he be? Ooh. But he just caught. Got caught with the right hand, and Osaro Break. feels like he can do something. Back, back, that was a real back. nice long hand from Osaro. And I saw the corner Rajab Jada. They keep yelling, move, move, move. Just stay Break. away. Break, 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 break. 30 seconds. <laughs> Rav Jazadeh is uh, just back. all fight, no the... backing down. Step back, step back, step back, step back. Step back. Great strategy for him. Paid off for him, so it seems so far. Break, break, break! Middle the right. Go on, middle the right. Fight! I think this is a win for Razab Jade. Not an easy one, but a win. Whoa, Cookie tried to clip him late, but what a performance by the Golden Wolf. He raises his hands to the ceiling, the crowd showing their appreciation. And Joe, what a tantalizing semi final we're going to have on this side of the bracket. That's incredible to say. Bahram come in there, beat the number three heavyweight in the world, someone so much bigger than him. It was a very tough fight for him. Like Antonio said, to see Bahram and Levy together is going to be crazy. The decision when we return. We welcome you back here to Holland. And man, some great highlights to go through. Yeah, exactly what we thought. Rajab Zadeh being using his speed, getting inside fast hook combinations, where Osaro was trying to use his counter punches, trying to pop this jab, find his counter right hand. but. Rajab Zadeh was doing a good job at managing the distance, staying outside, punching, getting inside to clinch up to avoid counter shots, but he had the right strategy, did well, showed his speed, and impressive, and punched his way into a, a semifinal. Well, they say a good big man beats a good small man, but that didn't happen tonight, Antonio. No, Rajab Zadeh's speed was just too much for Cookie, and Cookie, being the counterpuncher, did not know what to do with him. And also Rajab Zadeh just outwork him. He, and you, as you can see as the strike punch count, he just outwork him in everything. Strikes thrown per minute. Tariq Asaro busier in the first and third round, but just didn't connect as often as Rajab Zadeh, especially in that dominating second round. Here's Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, after three tournament rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. Here now are the totals from our five ringside judges. One judge scores the bout 29-28. Another judge has it 30-28. And our three remaining judges all score the bout 30-27, a unanimous decision, all for your winner. Now advancing to the tournament semifinal. Baram Rajab Zadeh! I'll be laughing and joyous, so that's why. We're laughing and joyous. I'm here with your winner, Rajab Zadeh. You just beat the number three heavyweight and one of the tournament favorites. What's your thoughts on that fight? Şu anda Bayram'la beraber, Bahram'la beraberim diyor. Üçüncü olarak geleni ve turnuva favori olan birisini diyor eledin. Nasıl hissediyorsun? Evet. Vassalamu aleyküm. Elhamdülillah. Ya Allah, ya Muhammed, ya Ali. Çok şükür, çok mutluyuk. Böyle de olmalıydı. He says, first of all, Esselamun Aleyküm. <gülüyor> and then, Ya Muhammad, Ya Ali. He says, we're very happy, and this was the way it was supposed to be. 
All right, your next match up with Levy Richter. Do you have an early prediction for us? Şu anda diyor bir dahaki maçın Levy Richter'la beraber bize diyor önceden diyor bir tahmin verebilir misin? Kazanacağım. I am champion. Yeah! I'm gonna win. I'm champion. <laughs> All right, let's hear it for your winner, Rajiv Zade. Boy, Antonio, he signs. He shows no signs of slowing down. Yeah, I don't think he will slow down, and I cannot wait for a fight between him and the lady.